Our next guest is our gambling expert. She's the host of the Chicken Nuggets podcast, and we bring her in anytime we need someone to explain putting money on games because Charlotte, you and I were just we're not quite there yet, right? We're not. No, we're we're, we're working we're, on it, but everybody knows I can barely count, so the number yeah. stuff really confuses me. I'm thrilled that Jen is here to help us out. We got you on here because today is, I guess, day two of in-season tournament. We're going to talk all about in-season tournament and how to bet on it. You hear that, Charlotte? Yeah. You got your notepad? I, I do. I have I have a scrap piece of paper and a pen, mm -hmm. so I'm ready to go. Is. All right. So <laughs> perfect. All, all the teams are divided into groups, and the winner of each group plus two more wild cards make it to the knockout stage. So I guess the first question I would ask, Jenna, is, how do you bet the favorites of who's going to come out the groups? To be honest, it's a blatant, like obvious when you look at these groups, how weak the Eastern Conference is compared <laughs> to the West. My goodness. I, in the three Eastern Conference co groups, easily you could pick the favorite coming out of those groups just because there's teams that are peaking at the right time um and injuries i think are definitely going to affect like the effectiveness of betting on this in-season tournament just because we're at the beginning of the season unfortunately teams like deer and fox for example and the kings already with an injury in the first game of the in-season tournament could totally affect their ability to come out of that group they're in one of the toughest groups with the warriors in that group as well as i think the thunder and the timberwolves maybe the toughest group in the entire tournament so when you're thinking about betting favorites here I would bet the East Coast team's favorites. You can still get plus money odds on a lot of the favorites because there are still three games left for each team to play. So some of these teams have only had one game so far and some haven't had a team uh, had a game yet. So yeah, when you're thinking about betting the favorites, I would stick with those teams that like the Bucks, the Sixers, those groups that are weaker. Um, stay away from that Warriors group. There's too many, too many dark horses in that group for me. Um, the Nuggets have the Mavs kind of in second place in their group, uh, but they already beat the Mavs. So you already mm -hmm. know that if it came down to a tiebreaker, the Mavs are going to have to get in in a wild card spot if it comes down to it, if the Nuggets end up winning the rest of their games. So when you're looking at it, I would just say specifically coming out of the groups, check out who is healthy right now. And um, that's going to be a big indicator. The group stage will end at the end of November, and then we'll kick into single elimination in the quarterfinals. Jenna, can you explain plus money to me like I'm five? Like, can you, when you say you can still get plus money odds on teams, what, how do I do that? Yes. So anytime you see plus odds, positive odds on a team, like plus 125, 128, I think the Lakers right now in their group are plus 230 to come out as the winner of that group. The Suns just ahead of them at plus 110. So basically, Charlotte, plus 110 means you're getting a dollar and 10 cents for every dollar that you're putting on that bet. So plus money, as in you're not sacrificing any of your bet. I think it will shift as you see teams lose uh, games. Obviously, odds will increase if teams continue to win their games. But once you get two games, if you if you win two out of the four games you have to win and the last two people you have to play are the Spurs or... Um, I don't know, right. uh, the the Grizzlies, then you mm -hmm. probably are going to make it into this tournament. So into that next stage of the tournament. So Jenna, we talked about the favorites. What are the dark horses that you like to throw some money on? Like I said, injuries, team chemistry right now, like some teams like the, uh, the Clippers, um, Milwaukee, we're seeing are struggling a little bit with team chemistry. I think it's really going to be about the timing and the the health of these teams. The Sixers, I really like as like an overall favorite. They're playing really well right now. Apparently, there's no more ego in their locker room. I don't know if you guys <laughs> heard. Fringe playoff teams from last year. We're talking the Mavs, the Thunder, the Timberwolves. Teams that have something to prove. Like they, They're itching to get back into that competition of the first round where they got knocked out. I would say the Timberwolves are one of my favorite dark horses for this tournament. Jenna, can we bet on who's going to win it all yet? Or is, does that not, is that not possible? You can. you can already take bets on who is going to win the entire tournament. The Bucks are at the top of that list, um, which is pretty surprising to me just because yeah. I don't feel like they're entirely clicking on all cylinders. When we look at 
playoffs in the NBA, you're thinking defensive rating, offensive rating. But when we're thinking about a, a single elimination ter- sort of style of a tournament, we have to keep in mind like teams that don't turn the ball over, uh, teams that rebound, teams that can get a stop and defend. And I don't really see that in the Bucks right now. I don't see them really protecting the basketball, not turning it over, and being able to defend. We've seen a lot of weaknesses on the on the defensive side for them. So it shocks me that they're still number one on this list to win the tournament for DraftKings. You can get them, I think, uh, plus 350 or something like that right now. So still pretty high up there. You also have the Nuggets that are up there as well as um, the Sixers and the Celtics. So, Jenna, you mentioned Joel Embiid having something to prove. Is he your favorite to win tournament MVP, or is there another name you see out there? The smartest bet to put money on for MVP odds because it's plus 2000 right now. But uh, 100, his, 100 bucks gets me $2,000 if I win, if he wins. But his team is actually favored to come out of the group stage. It's very interesting if you yeah. look at the odds of who's favored to win the MVP. It doesn't exactly correlate with who's favored to come out of the group stage. They have Luka Doncic way high on the MVP option for odds on him. But if you look at his group, it's going to be tough for him to come out of it unless he can clinch one of those wild card spots. But my long shot MVP and my favorite at the best odds, plus 4,000, Ant Edwards. Oh, Anthony. Really good. Yeah. All right, enough about big picture stuff, Jenna. We got games happening tonight, tournament games. What, as you look through the lines, which ones jump out at you as this is something you put money on? Definitely the Sixers spread tonight against Detroit. The Pistons have barely been able to eke out any wins, although they did have keep it pretty close against the Bucks, which again is a reason why I'm doubting the Bucks right now and they're <laughs> continuity but i really like the sixers minus seven and a half um you also have a couple of really really terrible matchups like uh memphis versus the jazz like you could totally make a great parlay on a game like that um but like i said i like anthony edwards as the mvp he's been showcasing his talent all over this season already and the timberwolves are on a mission so minus five and a half against the spurs Ant Edwards feels like he's he's got something to prove right now. He feels like it feels like he's trying really hard, like he really wants it. I might maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll learn how to bet and and take your advice, Jenna. Who's to say? Yeah, sprinkle a dollar on four thousand odds. Hey, Why not? you're still here, you're still walking away with money. And, and you can get all the action on the DraftKings Sportsbook. Go ahead and check it out. Check out those lines if it's legal in your area. Man, go ahead, like. Like Jenna said, put a couple bucks on it. And I'm not saying put bet your mortgage, but you know, just a little bit. See what happens. Coins. Live a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 